welcome friends welcome to hydraulics and hydraulic machines class in today's lecture we will discuss some more problems in related to belt and turbine so in the last class we have completed working proportions of belt and turbine and a problem in today's class we will discuss two more problems so that we will complete the belt impulse turbine or belt and turbine completely and in the next class we will take up the reaction turbines first one the francis turbine so let us go straight away into the problems so today's uh, lecture we focus on the problems on belt and turbine a belt and turbine is to be designed for a head of 60 meters when running at 200 rpm the pelton wheel develops ninety five point six four seven five kilowatts shaft power. The velocity of buckets. Is equal to point four five times velocity of jet overall efficiency is point eighty five. And C V is equal to point nine eight. So let us take the given data. Head is equal to sixty meters. N is equal to two hundred rpm. Then SHP shaft horsepower P is equal to ninety five point six four seven five kilowatts. Then velocity of buckets that is u is equal to point four five times the velocity of jet v one overall efficiency equal to point eight five. Then c v is equal to point nine eight. So this is the data that is given. So let us go one after the other basically. So design of the Pelton wheel means what? Design of Pelton wheel means means what? Means number one diameter of wheel, diameter of jet, width of bucket, depth of bucket. Number of buckets. So now, first one is the velocity of jet. V one is equal to C V root two G H. 
cv is 0.98 into root of 2 into 9.81 into head is 60 so that corresponds to 33.62 meters per second so that is the first calculation then what we mentioned u is equal to 0.45 times v1 that's what is given so therefore 0.45 times 33.62 so that amounts to 15.13 meters per second so u is equal to u1 is equal to u2 is equal to all are same 15.13 meters per second then we know u is equal to pi dn by 60 therefore d is equal to 60 into u by pi n so that is 60 into 15.13 divided by pi into n is 200 so that corresponds to basically 1.1.44 1. 1. meters so the diameter of the wheel is uh, the dia of wheel is wheel or pitch circle is equal to d is equal to one point four four meters so this is the first one then what is the other one eta zero is equal to shp by quarter horsepower shaft horsepower by water horsepower shaft horsepower they have given it 95.6475 kilowatts if i convert into watts thousand divided by what is this basically the pronoun it is gamma q h right so it is equal to 95.6475 into thousand by gamma is 9810 q unknown into h which is 60 so eta is equal to 0.85 is equal to 95.6475 into 1000 is to convert into watts by 9810 into q into 60 therefore q is equal to 95 point six four seven five into thousand divided by nine eight one zero into point eight five into sixty okay then q is equal to if i calculate point one nine one two meter cube per second so that is over then what are the rest of the things that are there for me then q is equal to five by four d square into v1 q is equal to 0 0.1912 is equal to pi by 4 d square into v1 means uh, v1 already we have calculated 33.62 therefore calculate d is equal to we are going to get 0 0.085 meters so that means diameter also obtained capital d is gone small then third one size of bucket size of bucket size of bucket there are two things one is the width of bucket width of bucket is equal to five times the diameter of jet so five into point zero eight five so it will be equal to point four two five meters and second one is the depth of the bucket is equal to depth of the bucket is equal to 1.2 times d so 1.2 into 0 0.085 so it corresponds to how much actually depth of the bucket it is equal to 0 0.102 meters then last one is the number of buckets the number of buckets is equal to 15 plus half into d by d so it is equal to 15 plus half into d 
D is equal to how much we have got 1.44 meters and small d is equal to 0 0.085. 0 0.085. So if it corresponds to 23.5. So that means approximately 24. So that completes the problem. One more problem also we will take in the same topic. A Pelton wheel is receiving water from a pin stock with a gross head of Five ten meters. One third of grass head is lost in friction. In the pen stock. The rate of flow through the nozzle fitted at the end of the pen stock. is 2.2 meter cube per second. The angle of deflection of the jet is 165 degrees. Determine power given by water to runner hydraulic efficiency. Take CV is equal to take CV is equal to one and speed ratio as point four five. A Pelton wheel is receiving water from a penstock with the grass head of five ten meters. So let us go grass head. Grass head is how much? 5, 10 meters. Right? Then what is the second sentence? One third of grass head is lost in friction. So head lost in friction. Head lost in friction is equal to one third of grass head so how much it will be 170 meters so therefore net head is equal to how much this is what we require always 510 minus 170 basically this is 340 meters so this is the first thing then what he has given q is equal to discharge 2.2 meter cube per second that is the second then phi is equal to 180 minus phi that's what he has given 
that is angle of deflection is equal to 165 degrees therefore phi is equal to 15 degrees that is next then what he wants us power given by water to runner that is equal to power developed by runner what is the equation for the power developed by runner actually it is nothing but the work done per second what is the equation for work done per second work done per second is equal to right rho a v1 into vw1 plus vw2 into u right this is the equation so let us take one by one first rho is equal to you know thousand kg per meter cube then anything related to small a anywhere you are getting small a how to calculate a so this a v1 is nothing but a v1 is nothing but is equal to q that is equal to 2.2 meter cube per second so our next target is vw1 vw2 u then u is equal to he has given ku root 2 gh so ku is how much 0.45 into root 2 gh 2 into 9.81 into 340 so what is u is equal to if you take it uh, how much you are getting u is equal 36.75 meters per second so one is over then what is vw1 what is vw2 so if these two you want draw the velocity triangle so that the velocity triangles then i will draw the velocity so velocity triangles, Pelton turbine bucket, you know it. So this is how the bucket shape. This is how initially. A, B, C. So this total is V1 which is equal to vw1 this is u this is vr1 so this is inlet outlet if i take it extend it this is 165 degrees this is phi is equal to 15 so this is vr2 then from here u then this is v2 then this is vw2 u v2 this is phi right so now from the inlet velocity triangle from inlet velocity triangle You can write v1 is equal to vw1 therefore v1 is equal to cv root 2 gh cv is how much 1 into root 2 into 9.8 to h is equal to this is how much h h is equal to 340 so how much you are going to get this uh, 81.67 meters per second therefore vw1 is also equal to 81.67 meters per second next from outlet velocity triangle What can we write from outlet velocity triangle? 
Vw2 is equal to Vr2 cos phi minus U2. Vr2 is nothing but Vr1 cos phi minus U. Right? So what is Vr1? Vr1 is equal to V1 minus U. V1 is how much? 81.67. You already how much you got already u is equal to 36.75. So if you subtract it, how much you are going to get? We are one is equal to 44.92 meters per second. So substitute in that VW2 is equal to we are one is 44.92 cos 15 minus 36.75 so if you calculate that you are going to get 6.64 meters per second so vw1 already you got it vw2 you got it therefore work done per second is equal to rho into a v1 this is q actually vw1 plus vw2 into u so rho is 1000 into 2.2 discharge because this is nothing but q vw1 is 81.67 plus vw2 is 6.64 into u is 36.75 so the answer for this is 71.39 86 3 newton meter per second or i can call it as if i divide it by thousand it is going to 7139.863 kilowatts i can write it by divided by thousand actually so that i got it already so now my next job is how to calculate the hydraulic efficiency so the power is over to you first one the second one is the hydraulic efficiency hydraulic efficiency is what is the relation it is power developed by runner power developed by runner to basically the power supplied or the energy of water so it is uh, 71 39.863 divided by this is gamma q h by thousand both in kilowatts i am writing so if i put it actually this uh, you substitute everything into this uh, so automatically gamma is known 9810 q is 2.7 is 71.8 7139.863 divided by 9810 into 2.2 into 340 divided by 100,000. Sorry, if you put that, you are going to get 0.973. So it is 97.3 percent. So this is the second question. So with this, uh, I will stop the problems in Pelton turbine. So three different types of problems uh, in Pelton turbine we have solved, and all three are very, very, very important. Uh, so kindly practice uh, more and more problems in this. Uh, so the theory questions uh, and problems both are being explained to you in this topic. Both are explained to you in this topic. So, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.